Hello everyone, this is Alan. I'm gonna make a quick tutorial video on how to make jump clones. Uh, apparently it's not that easy for new players to grasp on how exactly it works, so I'll be detailing everything you need to know to make and use jump clones. Uh, now the first thing you need if you want to get jump clones is a skill. I'm gonna show you the skill right now. It's under science. Blah, blah, blah. Here we go, Informorph Psychology. Now if you check the skill for this, you'll see that one level of training is needed for each jump clone you wish to make. Now I've currently trained it to level 3, which means I have access to 3 jump clones. Um, now if I go to my jump clone step, you'll see I actually already have 3 jump clones, so I'll have to destroy one if I want to make an art, which I'll do shortly. Uh, but first there's some other stuff you need to cover. Now the second thing you need is a standing of 8.00 with the corporation where you want to create your jump clone. Now as you see, this is my personal standing, this is my corporate standing. And my corporation has a standing of 9.88 with Zanyu, which is the station where we're currently at. Which is very good for me because now everyone in my corporation can actually make jump clones in this station or one of the stations of this corporation with, that has medical facilities. You do need medical facilities to make jump clones, you can't do it in a station that hasn't got any. Now if I want to install a clone, you'll see that it asks me for 100,000 uh, ISK or 100k ISK. But as I already have my three jump clones, I can't currently make one, which is a bugger. Now, in order to actually fix that situation, which is quite easy, all we need to do is go to my character uh, sheet and then select one of the jump clones I already have and destroy them. Now, this one has some implants, uh, so I I'm actually inclined to destroy this one, which I'm doing right now. There we go, clone destroyed. So now, if I select install and I pay the fee, you'll see I have created a brand new jump clone. Now, there's one tiny issue, you can only jump clone once every 24 hours and as you see here, um, I still have to wait about 4 hours for my next clone jump. So once that happens, I'll get back to you guys and I'll show you how you can actually jump clone. Okay, so as you can see now, the next jump clone availability says it's now, which means I can actually jump clone at this very second if I so desire. Um, the clone I'm currently using doesn't have any implants. The reason I'm in a clone with no implants is because I went PvPing last night and obviously I didn't want to use my implants. Now, since I'm not planning to go PvPing again anytime soon, I'm gonna jump back into my clone with implants, which I can use for PvP or um, for enhanced training. I uh, can do a tutorial on implants later on, but for now all you need to know is that basically I want to get into this clone. There's a few things you need to do before you can actually clone jump. Uh, first of all, you need to be in your pod, which I'm currently doing, so that's good. Next up, I need to pause my training queue. So I'm pausing that. Yep. And then finally, I can select the clone I want to jump to. And then select jump, which basically is this. And that's it, I just jump cloned. And if I check my implants now, you'll see that I do have in fact got the clone with implants activated. Now, you don't have want to forget to reactivate your training queue, because that would be silly, otherwise you wouldn't be training at all. And that's basically all there is to it. Now, the reason why you want to jump clone is, as I mentioned earlier, if you want to go PvPing, you don't want to lose your implants uh, when you go pop. You actually want to be in an empty clone. So it's highly advisable you do that. Uh, and again, after you are done with PvP and aren't planning to go into combat, or aren't planning to lose your pod, you can just jump into another clone and actually has implants to train faster. And that's basically it. So thanks for watching and I hope this was helpful to you guys.